yesterday we we talked about this uh, situation at Lipscomb University in Nashville, where uh, a group of African American students were outraged because the the president's home had been decorated with cotton, like cotton balls, and they said that that was racially insensitive or some sort of nonsense like that. And of course, they were also upset with the uh, with the menu. They said that. Uh, cornbread and collard greens and macaroni and cheese, which I think is Italian, um, was was black food, was black meals. That was the actual word that the young lady used. So we uh, we that uh, that story generated a lot of calls. A lot of you folks had had opinions about that. Um, then late late yesterday, we got word that apparently they're not the only ones that are offended by cotton, the fabric of our lives. This comes from uh, our website, toddsterns.com. A Texas woman posted an item on her Facebook page. She was shopping in Hobby Lobby and came across cotton stalks in, uh, in a lovely glass vase. And apparently this is some sort of a decorating, uh, maybe it's sort of like en vogue, I guess, to decorate with cotton. And anyway, she took a picture of it and she talked about how she was offended. She says, there's nothing decorative about raw cotton, a commodity which was gained at the expense of African-American slaves. A little sensitivity goes a long way, so please remove this decor. Now, I did a little checking on this. I, I had our team investigate, and to the best of our knowledge, the cotton that's used in the Hobby Lobby displays was not picked by slaves in America. Didn't happen. A machine, maybe, but nobody, nobody on American soil picked that cotton that was a slave didn't happen. So I'm not sure what the problem is with this lady. But more than 200,000 people have weighed in on this. And and a lot of people agree. They actually believe that cotton, those cotton displays, that, that cotton decoration is racially offensive. Uh, I'm concerned about what's going to happen when they when they find out about peanuts and tobacco. But I don't want to give the perpetually offended crowd any ideas, ladies and gentlemen. The truth is that the cotton, the fabric of our lives, was picked by both black and white people back in the day. So the question is, will Hobby Lobby get rid of this cotton? Or should they, ladies and gentlemen? Should Hobby Lobby get rid of all the cotton decorations in their stores to appease uh, th this woman. 888-788-9910 is our telephone number. That's 888-788-9910. Let's go to Sarah. She's listening in Arizona. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to the program. Hi, Todd. I just wanted to weigh in that cotton is extremely triggering for me. When I was 12 years old, my first job was hoeing cotton. I live in cotton country, and I'm extremely allergic to it. So every year when it blooms, let me tell you, I curse it up and down. Well, I can imagine you got triggered. I mean, that's especially if you're allergic to it. But uh, hoeing cotton, is a, that's a tough thing. It is, especially under child labor. I was only 12 at the time, so... It was oh. even more triggering for oh, me. Oh, my goodness. Yes. We'll get into child labor, by the way, in the next hour, Sarah. You're going to have a good time with our <laughs> with our conversation on that issue. But can you believe, can you believe that people are so uh, easily offended in America that cotton is going to set them off? It is just ridiculous to me, and it makes me even more angry because people don't know what they're talking about. I live in Arizona. We don't live in the Deep South. Here, all the farming is done by white and Mexicans. You know, we grew up with it. This is the lifeblood of our valley. If people want to start being offended by cotton and not want to do it, our entire community is going to dry up and blow away. We're all cotton and cattle here. 
Yeah, look, um, and I mean, where do you where do you draw the line? I mean, uh, do you do you not eat the strawberries or the uh, the fruit that was picked by the uh, you know by by migrant workers? Uh, do you need to get rid of all of your linens uh, that are are made from cotton? I mean, where do you draw the line at all of this nonsense? I think you draw the line by just acknowledging that we're all different and everybody has a history, but we can still be polite and agree to disagree. Well, that that's a that is a that, that's a very gracious uh, way to look at things, Sarah. And I appreciate your telephone call. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, there is not much grace in America. As a matter of fact, the basic the basic rule of thumb these days is that if you find something offensive, you have to silence it. You got to silence it. I mean, th- the idea that a piece of cotton in an arts and crafts store is going to set you off. Can, can I just say this? I, can, I, think, I think we should all be able to, to agree with this, this one truth. If you suffer a microaggression from looking at cotton or eating a piece of cornbread, you need immediate psychological attention. You need to seek medical help because something is not right with your noggin. Something's just not right.